<laughs> By the way, this was not always the case. Yeah, right, right. Uh, you go in for an audition and there'd be like one guy like... That's better than no guys, right? That's pretty good. Saw you in 21 Jump Street. Great episode. <laughs> Great episode. What, do you remember what you played? Who you, you know played? I can't touch the floor. What? <laughs> but when, when you come in as Thanos and you have everybody going like this and like... Yeah, uh, yeah. And then you sit down and you go... <laughs> it's part of our... I'm sorry about it's that. It's part of your grand humbling plan. Part of our commitment to humiliate Watch the guests. Do, yeah, yeah. If I do this, <laughs> it's better. Well, you know what it is. It's just that what is it? the movie did so well. You're hovering, on, you're floating on air. That's what. Yeah, as you can tell. <laughs> that that's 1.2 billion right there. <laughs> Much of that. By next month, I'll be around here. <laughs> I'll have no knees and a half a shin. How much um, of that $1.2 billion do you get? Because there's a lot of superheroes. There's only one super villain. It seems like you should get half of that. No, and, the... and there's a whole 50% thing, too. So the Avengers get 50% and I get the other 50%. You get the other 50%, right. Just that. Yeah. You know, so I was thinking about Thanos. Um, and I don't want to give anything away, obviously, but... Why, why not? It is kind of funny, in the last movie, that the move that you kill half of all life with is a snap. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's like, like West Side Story or something. Yeah. You're like, yeah. Ooh, killed another half, killed another half. No, there was a whole... It was a whole musical before, but they cut most <laughs> of it out. I actually go into this whole song and dance thing. It was brilliant. It it's got to be the most famous snap in history now, though, right? Yeah. I mean, don't you think? I was on another talk show and I did something. What? I didn't like how it was going. <laughs> but that's that's the positive. That's but why I, I, I made didn't... sure your feet didn't touch the ground. I didn't I didn't like how it was going and I did that. Uh -huh. But the movie hadn't been out long enough for anybody to know what I was doing. So it was like it was kind of like, like the oh, whole audience weird. went like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I went like that. Anyway. Like you're being interviewed by a dog. This is going really well though. Good, I'm good. snapping for you. It's very good to see you. You, you too, are. Uh, always. You got a lot going on now. I know you're shooting uh, Dune, I which I read that book when I was in high school. Did you really? I loved that book. Yeah, I did. I was a nerd. Were you yeah. high? I was a nerd. I still am a nerd. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't. You I, weren't. No, I just liked. Uh, I just liked that sort of thing. No, it's cool. It's it's a really. I mean, Denis Villeneuve is doing it. The guy who I did Sicario with. He's an amazing director. Oh, he's great. He's yeah, amazing. he is great. Yeah, that movie is great, Sicario, yeah. yeah. Javier Bardem's in it, who I haven't seen wow. in a while, so there's a thing between he and I, which was really fun, and, and who had Jason Momoa. Oh, nice. Aquaman. Is I love there's always a new actor in town where you can say it, and you know everything's going to be good. It's like if everything goes crappy right now, I can say Jason Momoa, and everything will go well. Yeah. Because and by the way... Out. Even my wife, who saw the first season of Got, Game of Thrones, uh -huh. called me and said, which I still am not okay with, called me and said, Jason Momoa is a god. He kind of is, though. I mean, he, yeah, he's and like... And I was like, really? <laughs> wow, that's... I should see it. <laughs> Don't we worry. should have another baby. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Momoa is something. Are they very yeah. secretive, like in the way Marvel is about Dune and what's going on? I did. You know, I was there. Yes, they they are. Everybody's secretive now. It's like it started with Woody Allen, which I still don't understand why. But and and now they do this thing where they're just like, hey, there's certain things because of social media. You don't post. You don't do this. I don't seem to follow those rules so well. Mm -hmm. I just don't have that in my DNA. Right, I am truly yeah. my mother's child. Do you think so... you have the opposite in your DNA, maybe? Like, if they tell you if not you to don't do have... something... No, 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 no. Like it? a rebellious yeah. thing? No. No. Oh, no. interesting. No, it's like a dumb person. I just don't <laughs> so, so I was in Jordan, and, and we were in the sand, and I was on a little vacation. I had a few days off, and, you know, I, I went around, and I went to Wadi Rum, and I went to all these amazing places, Petra, 2300 year old Petra 
wow. sand paint or sand uh, carvings and all this kind of stuff. Anyway, I put it on my stories, and I'd never done that before. I was apparently bored, even though it was kind of historically amazing. <laughs> so I was filming myself, which I don't understand. I was in the middle of nowhere, and there was internet, so that was the first weird thing. Wow. And then I did this whole story on it, and then somebody called me eventually, and they said, hey, listen, we have guidelines, and that's a word that I don't deal with very well. Mm -hmm. They said, we have guidelines. There's been some red flags that come out. It's, and it, so I, I had a conversation, and I, 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 I just didn't deal with it very well. It was like Jason Momoa doing Aquaman and telling him when he's off, he can't take a picture of himself in water anywhere else. I was like, <laughs> it's sand. Everybody, it's called dude. It Everybody is, knows. It is yeah, it's not like they're going to shoot it in Vermont. No. <laughs> it's like you shot yourself enjoying this sand, and people may know. And don't do that again. Don't yeah. do that again. Yeah. Well, the guidelines, they're not rules. Maybe they should have made them rules if they're going to no, guidelines. I know. Did Just you have don't fun? Hire me. Jordan a fun place to be? It's really fun. Is I mean, it? Yeah. I mean, the one thing that I did is I, I did the, you know, the camel thing, and I didn't really want to do that. Did you, you ride a camel? I did. Oh, you did? Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand, really. <laughs> I mean, I grew up on like... horses. I grew up around animals oh, and yeah, all that kind of stuff. Oh, you grew up on like so, a yeah. wild animal preserve, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, my mom was. What so animals wild. did you have there? No camels, I'm guessing. No camels. No, I had. Uh, there, she had chimpanzees, wolves, uh, tigers, lion. My brother got 60 stitches in his leg. We, we were. My mom was the worst mother. <laughs> of it. Literally, at like six years old, she was like, "Go clean the cages." And you're like, "But it's a wolf." <laughs> <laughs> Is that what got your brother she the wolf? She had a cool king in one hand, a Dr. Pepper in the other. She always had one thing tucked like this. And I was like, this, this lady, whoops. It's all right. This lady's crazy. Um, this lady. No, but she had, so she, would, she took animals away from people who had illegally taken them out of the wild. She would nurse them back to health, find the most habitable zoo, or re-release them. The one time that she got really kind of, she fell in love with this animal, which was uh, a chimpanzee named Reggie. Wow. Yeah. And How Reggie, old is Reggie, do you know? Reggie, what? You mean, no, it was, he was born in captivity. Okay. All right. So she used to watch Schwarzenegger movies with Reggie. <laughs> and, and she'd drive around town, and my mom was like, she was a character, so everybody knew about her. So you'd see in the passenger seat this monkey, and then you'd see my mom <laughs> with the cool king and the Dr. Pepper <laughs> and something steering the car. So she, uh, eventually, she, uh, so because of watching these movies, she put, them, put him in the cage. She went and did something. She drove away. There was a guy who came, a ranch hand, to come and fix the chicken coop. And while he was fixing the chicken coop, suddenly he heard shots ringing out, right? And he went completely face down. Well, Reggie had worked himself out of the cage, gone down to the truck. And where I'm from, everybody has a rifle in the back of their truck. Because of the Schwarzenegger films, he knew how to chamber a bullet. <laughs> So the guy, I swear on <laughs> really? my children, I swear on my children. So the guy was down like this, and here's the chicken coop, and he looks around like this, and he sees Reggie holding it at his hip. <laughs> Arnold style. <laughs> So the guy's obviously freaking out. Reggie, I don't know, apparently dropped the gun. He went up to the house. So by the time my mom got home, he got into the crevassier. <laughs> so when my mom walked into the kitchen, he was splayed out on the, on the kitchen floor with an empty bottle of wow. crevassier. Wow, that chimpanzee. It was a great childhood, man. <laughs> really mellow, fun. A chimpanzee could have been governor of California. <laughs> or president of the United States. Or president of the United States. If you like that video, click the subscribe button, but only if you're ready for commitment.